Developing a relationship with your Keepers of the Light Oracle deck is essential for you to really create these accurate and insightful readings, maybe not just for yourself, but for those you are doing readings with too. I've been interested in Oracle cards for about 14, 15 years. And when I first started to use Oracle cards, I took them everywhere I went. And I developed this energetic bond that allowed me to really know my cards and allow my cards to know me. In order for you to get super accurate readings, you want to be doing things that will allow you to create this energetic imprint, almost like a a fingerprint from your soul into your cards so that they can really understand your energy and you can understand theirs. I really believe the magic is within us and it's all about the intention that we come in with that will really allow us to see how we can use this tool and really allow us to grow with it. So there's a few different things that I wanted to speak about that will really allow you to understand the workings of your deck. When I started to use these cards personally, and this is my own deck, I actually kept them underneath my pillow for a few nights just so that I could start to allow my energy to imprint onto them. Another thing that I always do is just regularly um, get the cards out and just look at the pictures and really look at the meanings of the cards and what they say on them. And as I scroll through the deck, every time I put my thumb on the card, I'm just leaving another little bit of my energy in the cards so that they really become bonded with me. One of the things that I encourage you to do is bless your cards. And you can do this once or you can do it often or you can do it every time you use your cards. And this just becomes a little ritual that allows you to imprint the energy of your heart into your cards so that you can really allow the, the guidance of your angels, the guidance of your guides, um, of heaven to come through your heart and into the cards that you're using. The other things I wanted to talk about that I feel is important while we're here is when it comes to using your cards, every time you shuffle them, you're shuffling a little bit of your energy in. Now, don't worry about your energy being lost or going somewhere. It's just about leaving an imprint. It's just about kind of making a bond with them like you would with a friend. You know, the more you get to know a friend, the more you can reveal to them about your life, the more they will reveal to you about their life. It's exactly the same with the Keepers of the Light. This is a tool that will allow you to connect with your friends in heaven. So every time you're shuffling these cards, every time you're connecting with them, you're getting a deeper relationship with them. So let's do a blessing of the cards together. And in the little guidebook, I created a prayer that you can use and you can just read it through, but it's also about doing it from the heart. And that's what I'm going to do with you guys now. I'm just going to say a prayer that comes to the heart through my mind um, to really allow me to create a, a real positive bond with these cards. And I encourage you to do exactly the same. So we can say the prayer together. I'll, I'll leave a short pause for you to repeat the words. But you can also write and create your own prayers. Maybe you can journal that down. Maybe you can do that. But maybe this will give you an, an insight and an idea of how you can do that. And just remember, there are no mistakes. You can't do this wrong. It's all about coming from the heart and setting an intention that these cards are going to serve your spiritual growth and that you are going to bring through lots of love and positivity through them. Um, so what I do is I encourage you just to, first of all, if you've not done this already, I encourage you to look through your cards. Go through one by one the images of these masters, angels, and enlightened beings, and just put your thumbprint and your energetic imprint on each of the cards. And if you're not sure how you do that, just look at the cards, the words on the cards, the messages on the cards, and as you look through them, you'll get to know them better. Once you've done that and went through the whole deck, come back to this point here. We'll take our cards, we'll fan them out, and then we'll place the cards onto our heart. And this just allows us to kind of connect with the cards at a heart level. And I'll get you to close your eyes with me. 
and just breathe to your heart, breathe to the cards. And just feel that your heart energy is just linking and connecting with the energy of the cards. Almost imagine that there's this golden light at your heart that's reaching out into the cards and washing them in this golden light of love. And now we'll just say a prayer. Thank you, keepers of the light, angels, universe, and anyone else that can help for bearing witness to this spiritual practice that we are doing through these cards. Thank you, keepers of the light, for blessing these cards. Thank you, angels, for blessing these cards. Thank you, universe, for kissing these cards with your light. I set the intention today that these cards are to be used for the highest of intentions. That these cards will become a medium for miracles and for messages to come through from heaven. I set the intention that these cards will serve me and my spiritual growth. I set the intention to develop a relationship with these cards and the masters herein. Thank you, universe, angels, keepers of the light, for allowing me to use these cards with accuracy, with love and with grace. And we say this for the highest good, under the law of grace. And so it is. When you're ready, just take your cards back and just shuffle your energy into the cards. They are now energetically yours. When you're using your cards and to keep them of the highest vibration, I encourage you to add a personal touch to them. Maybe you'll get your own little bag that you can keep your cards in. I've got one here that says angels on it. Um, or you might even want to place a crystal in with the cards to kind of keep your energy imprinted with them. But whatever you do is right for you. There's no right or wrong way to do this. This is your spiritual practice. This is your spiritual connection. I encourage you to do what feels right for you. I hope you enjoy using your cards. Thank you for being here.